I cannot see myself starting up my own businesses where I'm from at all. Here it's, there's an excitement in the air. There's more people moving here. There's more people looking for like quality products and quality services. Whereas where I'm from, everything's going in the opposite direction, you know, mm-hmm. and there's not much incentive to actually provide value to people. And even if you do provide value to people, you, your reward is cut in half by a, by a crooked government. So, yeah, I find this place far more conducive to starting up a business, starting up multiple businesses. So, yeah. so anyone out there thinking about it, I mean, here's a obviously it's not the only spot in the world, but I can say from my personal experience, it's a fantastic spot. Welcome back. We're live one more time from Bitcoin Beach. This is going to be another show that the big boss, Mike Peterson, is not here. So I'm going to be doing the interview. My name is Chimbera and I'm excited because I have my good friend here, James. Welcome. Thank you very much, Chimbera. Really appreciate it. It's good to be here with the, uh, the little boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you can call me like this. Thank you. So we we were talking to do this interview, right? We we yeah. know each other for more than one year now. Yeah. Since the first time. About 18 months, yeah. Yeah, can you can can you put uh, can you tell us a little bit about like about you how you ending here in El Salvador? Sure. What you're doing and how how was that? Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I was traveling around a bit. Ended up in Canada for three and a half years, was studying over there, doing engineering, and then Canada went a little bit, uh, a little bit upside down, unfortunately. Uh, but then COVID time. COVID time, yeah, indeed. You know, I was wasn't that much fun there, unfortunately. Uh, it was pretty rough. But what are you going to do? Um, I was made aware of El Salvador. I mean, apart from the negative things that you would hear, but I was made aware of El Salvador mm-hmm. by the uh, but, Jack Muller's announcement. But you, before we go to that, just mm-hmm. putting in context, so you are from uh, New Zealand, right? Yeah, New Zealand slash Australia. I grew up. In both. Okay, and you went to Canada to study. Yeah, university, yeah. college. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, what did you study at college? Computer engineering. Computer engineers. Yeah. I didn't even finish the degree, though, because of uh, certain mandates wouldn't allow me to. Really? Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Wow. That was fun. And <laughs> what year was that? That was 2021. 21. That's when they started bringing in all the, all the mandates in Canada. That was sort of post lockdowns. And then they started all the mandates. Okay. Yeah. And so how do you end in here in El Salvador? Well, me and my better half uh, decided that Canada was no longer really tolerable. So uh, we decided to move to Mexico for a bit. We were there for about seven months. Um, and then probably about halfway through living in, in Mexico, it kind of became a no brainer, you know, it, it had become legal tender by that point. Um, we didn't have any close personal friends here, but we saw plenty of people that we followed on Twitter or people that we talked to online. And when moving here, it sort of became a, a no brainer. And unfortunately, in my home country of Australia and New Zealand, um, I kind of still are kind of circling the drain of uh, communism. So I wasn't very interested in going home either. Mm-hmm. Um, I was more interested in a country that seems to be improving as opposed to, you know, falling apart at the seams. Yeah. So you were in Mexico for how long? Seven months. Seven months. Yeah. And after that, so Mexico, I have been meeting more people that Mexico is kind of the first 
step. It's an easy right? step, right? It's already very westernized. And, and also Mexico, I think, was one of the countries that never closed for during yeah, COVID. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I think they had a very, very, very short lockdown. But yeah, they, there was an easy escape. Mm -hmm. It was an easy escape hatch, as uh, Christine Lagarde would say. Yeah. Yeah. So once you were in Mexico and, and you say you already knew about El Salvador, you hear about El yeah. Salvador, uh, previously they announced that Mahler, that Jack did yeah. in 2021. Yeah, I mean, that's when I was aware of the, the Bitcoin situation. Mm -hmm. I've been a Bitcoiner a lot longer than that, but I wasn't aware that, I wasn't aware of Bitcoin Beach, for example, because obviously that started earlier than it becoming legal tender, mm -hmm. right? I was not personally very aware of that. But when it did actually happen, it was pretty mind-blowing and attractive, you know? So we basically, I don't know, after about three months of talking about it, we just pulled mm -hmm. the trigger and, and did it. And, yeah. here we, and here we are, we never left pretty yeah, much. I, yeah, <laughs> actually I remember, I think the first time we met, I was invited for a barbecue in yeah, a Yeah, you came to one of our barbecues. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. were living there for a few months. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, honestly, I never, I never thought you would be sitting here now having this interview. Oh you yeah, know, you after. thought I was just passing by. Yeah, you? because you and know, now you're like stuck with me. Hey? Yeah. yeah, you yeah. fall in love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but like seriously, like we're having like a lot of people that come to check, but you know, for many reasons, we understand that not everyone wanna, you know, like move forward or sure. like need time, they need to come back. But what is good and we're seeing a lot, is specific like Canadians, like a lot, a lot of, of Canadians. Yeah, like that they, they, wanna, they wanna come and check, mm -hmm. you know, to see what's happening and then they say, okay, let me back and prepare myself and, you sure. know, I did my things and then I will be ready. But yeah, they come for a little vibe check. Yeah. And they go and yeah. sometimes they come back. Sometimes they don't. You yeah. know, like what I, the thing that you did, like, and we were talking early before the podcast is like coming along, you know, we met also a lot of Bitcoiners, you know, that they are not in a relationship. Sure. You know, they work in remote. So for them, it's an easy way to to come working remote from here. And mm -hmm. and 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 so but you did with in a relationship, did. in a couple. And I think that changed the change a lot, you know, because if you're alone, you you know, you can adjust, you can adapt in, you, you, sure. you, you don't need some luxuries. But when you're with your partner, with your love, you, you want to make sure that you feel <laughs> constable yeah of course yeah 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 so how 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 was that like i would love that you can tell the people because i i, I personally met a lot of people that are couples or families mm. that they would love to understand what's the easy way to connecting and upload with el salvador you know yeah i mean i guess there's probably trade-offs either way like obviously it's easy to be you know a lone wolf and you can just do your own thing. You don't have to worry about anybody else. Um, but as someone who's previously traveled that way, you know, that that has its drawbacks too, I would say. Like, I would say me and Kiki have, I probably couldn't have done it without her, I would probably say, you know, like we've both, we're, we're a team. She's my partner mm -hmm. in crime. So in a way that's been really helpful. Obviously, like you said, sometimes it is it is stressful having to worry about another person in that sense but i'm sure she has to deal with the same stuff with me so but yeah it's been it's been great it's been an adventure in an adventure that we've done together yeah uh, can we post uh, can we play a picture of kiki because we love kiki i i oh I, yeah she's I, the most popular lady in in the village i know you're a lucky guy <laughs> So that's 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 a picture of you and Kiki. Uh, you have been joining us for some Bitcoin education. Sure, that we do. It's been great. You do every every week, and there is another picture of Kiki. Yeah, that's that that's Kiki. Mm -hmm. That is Kiki. That is Kiki volunteering every Saturday. It's, she did a podcast. Yeah. There is a podcast I with know, her I've that she it. did. Yeah, she's yeah. she's. 
she's really committing and oh, big time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're yeah. really grateful to her committing and every saturday he had a lot of value to the project hey man well thank you as well the work that you guys do is incredible man thank you thank you so before we jump into other activities that you're doing now here in in sure. el salvador in 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 bitcoin beach mm -hmm. so what would you say to all the couples that are there you know like thinking you know thinking They're about tempted. it yeah they're attempting to do the next step or you told me like also that the family when when the family knew that you were coming to el salvador they were not like Kiki's, really kiki's family yeah. yeah i don't know if they'll ever forgive me but that's well that's, they that's will life. they will maybe one day yeah uh, we'll see we'll see uh yeah to the couples thinking about it i would say i would say do it now before before the place gets overpopulated with people i would say mm -hmm. get in early because there's definitely uh there's definitely a gold rush happening and i think you'd regret waiting the, that extra couple of years i would also say be prepared for the first couple of months to be a little bit jarring you know mm -hmm. it's a different place mm -hmm. it's a different culture the infrastructure is different it's a different way to live your life but that's that's kind of what you're signing up for so as long as you're ready to as long as you're ready with a bit of resilience when mm -hmm. you first come here and you're not going to immediately throw your hands up in the air and go this isn't exactly like home you'll be fine mm -hmm. i think and yeah it's it's a beautiful place as long as you enjoy the heat which yeah. i love which i love you know i yeah. think it's fantastic but I, well if you don't like the heat i guess you can move up to the mountains too it's much more temperate up there and it's beautiful up there we were just up in uh up in Eka. Gorgeous. Yeah, La Ruta de las Flores. Yeah, Ruta that, de las Flores. Ooh. That area there is, is, is it, even if, you know, everyone want to be at the beach now and yeah. maybe if you come for a week, it's more easy to be in here, right? And Yeah. But it's highly recommending to do like a tour on the week and they have like oh, sure. a gastronomic festival and, and, and Super it's a nice. good place to visit. That reminded me of New Zealand. Oh, okay. yeah? New Zealand's like that. Yeah, my family's from most of my family's from the North Island of New Zealand, and that was eerily similar. Yeah. Dead. And you know, one of the things that people fall in love with El Salvador is that El Salvador is so small, right? Mm -hmm. So you can do like being far away from the beach, it means you are one hour away from the beach. Exactly. You know? yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, literally like in one day you can do everything right like, yeah you can go from volcano to the surf right? to the city to the beach yeah. and 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 so yeah and a house how's living because i think this is like a really you know like people would love to know like how's living in the bitcoin standard here like mm -hmm. how that looks for you guys I would say, I would say it's amazing. First of all, you kind of feel like you're living in the future. Um, quite often, I won't even take my wallet because I've just got my phone with my Bitcoin on my phone. And maybe I take that for granted because I've been here for a while now. But I think that, that is something incredible that you can just take your keys and your phone and you can just go. Granted, not everywhere takes Bitcoin yet. Obviously, we're working on that. Mm -hmm. But um, so carry some cash too. That's generally what I do. Just a little money clip and your phone and you're good to go. It is really, I don't know, it, it is quite amazing. Like, yeah, as someone who was only a hodler previously, you know, I'd never really spent Bitcoin before then. It's quite, it's quite, a, quite a change. Yeah. It's really kind of amazing. No, that's 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 one of the things that you you see that happened here when Bitcoiners came came here, you know. Mm -hmm. Most of the Bitcoiners, some of them they follow the Michael Saylor advice that don't spend don't. any SAT, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. but really like if you don't spend SAT, there is not education. But, uh, I, but agree. It, I agree. But it's also spend like spend and replace spend and replace but yeah. like you know like one 
one of the things that we have been seeing here is that when they came here mm -hmm. and they see that the sat, something that you, you know, have a lot of value, right? Mm -hmm. And you don't want to spend it for stupid things, right? But when they came here and they see that spending that sat will help or you're sharing your wealth, with someone in the street, with a vendor in the street, or with a, a local person that is trying to be entrepreneurial, you know? Yeah. That's like something that you 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 see a lot, like the Bitcoiners kind of change their mind and say like, hey, I'm willing to spend my sat if I know this is gonna benefit sure. uh, this local family, you know? Absolutely. And you see this also like in the small scale, but also in a big scale, you know? Uh, like everyone know I have a real estate company here, right? So we, ha we help a lot of people, a lot of Bitcoiners to move here, mm -hmm. to purchase real estate here. And for me, one of the things that is really amazing is that many people say, hey, I don't need to invest in El Salvador. I don't want to spend my Bitcoin, but I, I want to be part of something, you know? I want to be part of history. You it know? is history. So that's like, yeah. it's amazing when people come, you know, in, in a small, bigger scale, say like, hey, I just want to support this country because I want to see this is, this is the future. And if El Salvador succeeds, that I, I know it will, uh, this is going to be the next example for many countries and many places around the world, right? Sure. So in that path, you have been starting like a new idea of yeah. supporting like local entrepreneurial here. Can you circular, tell us a little bit? Yeah, about circular economy, basically. I mean, firstly, to just what you were saying, it's who knows, no one can predict the future, but it is kind of amazing that we're still living in a in a paradigm where you can just buy Bitcoin and hold it. Like mm -hmm. soon soon enough in the future, you're gonna have to earn it. And rather than instead of just selling it for fiat, mm -hmm. you're gonna be spending it on things. Like that might take five years, that might take 50 years, I don't know. But that's kind of amazing that we're still at that point. But yes, to your question, um, we want to get a circular economy going as quickly as possible. Um, something that I've found living here is like I said before, I carry cash and I carry Bitcoin because sometimes it's luck of the draw, mm -hmm. whether you can go somewhere and spend Bitcoin or whether you're going somewhere to spend cash. So what we've started doing is, uh, is a farmer's market where you can, you know you can go there, spend your Bitcoin and buy really good produce mm -hmm. for your family. That's the idea. It was, that is as simple as that. It's definitely not um, my own personal invention. There are other places around the world doing it. You know, shout out to Bitcoin Jungle and to what Texas Slim is doing and, and what Odell and Marty Bent are doing. Um, but there wasn't one here. So I figured, why not? You know, it's a, it's a decentralized movement. So let's do one here. And now there's a way for Bitcoiners that are looking to spend their sats. There's somewhere where they can go to hopefully do their entire week's shopping. Yeah. No, get that's everything the, they need. That's the yeah. Bitcoin market. Yeah. Bitcoin farmers market. Yeah. So that's what's the idea? Is is it's gonna happen every Sunday? Every second Sunday in El Zonte. Okay. And then the other Sundays we are still determining exactly where we want to do it. We might do one in San Salvador, we might do one in Berlin, but we're thinking about, yeah basically doing three Sundays out of the month. Okay. And then one Sunday because Kiki and I need a Sunday off. <laughs> but also we don't want to overwhelm people, you know, we want to start small and, and grow. grow. Yeah. yeah, no, I, I really, I really think is there is a fit for that and it's a needed, right? We, I think so. we have been talking a lot about this and because I think like there are a lot of like, small business, like local business, mm -hmm. that sometimes it's hard for them to be part of, of what's happening here, you know, because sometimes yeah. they don't have the knowledge, they don't have the contacts, there are no places where they can come and show their products, you know. Exactly. But this, this really can be that 
that door, you know, yeah. for more locals to come and be part and well, sell I hope their so. products yeah. and sat and and yeah. And plus, I think people love it. You know, it's fun. Yeah, it's a nice place for people to socialize too. You know, we have activities for the kids and. You know, to quote Texas Slim and Marty Bent, you can shake your rancher's hand there. You know, we we have a lot of local producers. Yeah. Um, sometimes the, they're not always there, but they have their representatives there. It's actually really good to make these connections, you know, and skip skip the big supermarkets. I think it's really important. Yeah. Can you tell us about like some of the products that we can find there? Yeah, sure. Well, we have Beef Back Better. They're doing grass-fed, grass-finished regenerative beef, Cactus La Finquita. Uh, that's a young man from uh, Berlin who's growing his own cactus, 16 year old kid. Wow. And he's bringing, yeah, and he's, yeah, he's a hustler. And he's, he's really into it. This logo, I'm not sure whose logo this is actually on the top right. I'm sorry, I should know that, that's like but a, I don't. That, that looked like a fish. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, you got me there. Um, Flora La Vida Honey is my buddy Juan, who he goes and gets um, money, uh, honey from up uh, Ruta La Flores. And his wife makes this um, chemical, well, organic deodorant. We've got a Dutch guy called Yum who makes this amazing sourdough. Amy makes all these different juices and tonics and stuff like that. Yugo Collective do cacao, um, chocolate different um, fruits and vegetables. Kiki does the cowgirl creamery, so she makes butter out of uh, raw cream. Wow. Really good butter. Wow. And we have a lot more, like that's just Get, a small sample. Uh, we, I, yeah. I think there is another picture of- Oh, there might yeah, be. The, the, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's, you love that's the, the man. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Like. Juan's the, uh, sorry, yeah, Juan's the man. Yeah, Trito is awesome. Sorry, Jorge, not Juan, excuse me. His name is Jorge. But yeah, apparently I'm told this is uh, the only truck to ever be made in El Salvador. And it's one of the last running ones. And he has some really beautiful coffee. He comes and sets up uh, so everyone can have a coffee or, or tea or a little slice of cake yeah. at the market. It's great. Now, yeah. Cherito is, is a good friend. He's a good friend yeah. of us. But like, I think we're everywhere where he go, uh, people love the Cherito. Oh, right? yeah. Yeah, yeah, they do. Cherito is the is how they name they name it the the cars, right? I don't know how many they did back in the back in the years, but apparently six hundred. That's six hundred. Uh, that's what I was told. I don't know. If yeah, it, yeah. But like, I really recommend it. Like, if 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 you see Cherito, he's one of the mods people like one of the people with more knowledge about coffee and, yeah. and, and history and he he liked to share the history of because he he sure. also have like a, his own initiative like in I think up in Chalatenango that okay. he's trying to help also the small local uh, coffee producers to mm -hmm. be part of you know this environment mm -hmm. like adding Bitcoin to their their life you know trying sure. to to help them so that's yeah it. people love this truck one of the ranchers i work with he was i think he was the second person on the very first market we did he was the second person there before we even opened and he was like hey james nice to see you but i'm not here to see you i'm here for the truck uh -huh. right? <laughs> he was really excited about yeah, it yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's chorito yeah that's chorito boy yeah what else we have there Oh, that's that's we can. That's that's happening this Sunday. This Sunday, yes, indeed. This is not 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 of my organizing. Uh, this is the Mi Premier Bitcoin crew, but um, it probably isn't going to air before then. But that's okay. Congratulations to those who went. I hope you had a great time. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so. The idea was to train to send people there but i think once the podcast will be released it's going to yeah. be too too late but we tried but this one of the reason why is there is not going to be a, a bitcoin farmer this sunday right yeah no we we well we're going to go and uh, we want people to go there you know because it's about supporting the locals that's part of what this no, is no yeah 100 right? 100 i don't, like, don't want to split the crowd between our market and their market i want people to go there yeah yeah no it's going to yeah. be 
for sure is gonna be fun yeah like, it's a good day it's a good day to go and check to it, and you coming it might be might we're be. like to be honestly i know we you're were, busy man we were talking today and 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 we'll see sometime for us like sundays is the only family day that we have and that's important too, sometimes man. it's hard to to leave you know fair enough but we're thinking about it yeah we have been well bitcoin beach have been supporting also like in many many ways you know what's happening there and, yeah and i think it is it's a good it's a good day for you know for people go and support that yeah so what else are you doing here i've started up a small bacon company mm -hmm. which we sell our stuff at the markets you know we sell different types of bacon smoked ham chicharrones stuff like that um yeah i do a little bit of freelance web design but less and less of that i'm i'm a jack of all trades master of none mm -hmm. i would say just try to start up businesses here and nice put down roots here nice yeah. just a, one one question back into the uh, the bit, the bitcoin farmer because i think mm -hmm. people would love to know if there is like a calendar the days that is happening in, in yeah. the sun to how they can know about it because yeah sure it's happened the same for the bitcoin meetups people are always asking like hey when is it when exactly, is gonna be a bitcoin right. meetup that i, I can fit my tr trip down to el salvador and mm -hmm. there are really cool things to do so yeah well the the El Zonte ones are always going to be second Sunday and the last Sunday. Okay. So it's going to be what the thirteenth and the twenty seventh this month. And this if he, month. if something changed, they can go to the yeah. We'll obviously keep people updated if something changes. But what we, is it? Twitter or Twitter, Twitter is, and yeah is, is Bitcoin Farmers at Bitcoin Farmers Market and, and we'll we'll link that in the bottom right. Okay. So yeah, then, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll we'll, send I'll send you guys all the yeah. all the details and for anyone on Nostra as well, we'll do the end pub as well. Um, but yeah, we're, we want to make it really, really consistent. Uh, no, I, I think, I think that's the, that's the key to it. I want people to always know, like they can come here and get most of their goods. So that's that there. one thing. And mm -hmm. second one is like for the local mark, you know, entrepreneurial people that have products or they want to come and check where is it, what is the way to connecting the best way would be on the social media accounts okay just send us a dm on twitter or on instagram or uh, facebook we have a facebook group too so or, or contact you yeah you i know, can i know I you know direct, everybody yeah, and I you can, can send them to, to me to you yeah no there's definitely a few people that i've tried to like get in contact with and haven't people have tried but i don't know them like i would love to i believe there's a local family that dives for oysters right mm -hmm. that would be awesome if you could have oysters at the market, that would be so cool. Whether yeah. they you want to take them to go or ha have them there. Right? Oyster and champagne. And champagne, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. going to be a high-ending market, right? Yeah, a little, <laughs> little fancy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Why not? Yeah. Why not? Well, but <laughs> people, people want that. People know? like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, why not? Yeah. But honestly, yeah, the more locals, the better. What are the products that are more popular? Like, you have been doing, like, three now right three yeah we've done three so far. yeah yeah so yeah. what are the most popular products and what are the need hmm. that you will see like a hey, this product or people are asking for this product you know the only person i've seen sell out every time i think he sold out every time has actually been the sourdough guy people love a good a good, good sourdough yeah, yeah. yeah. They yeah. love a good i think he sold out every time maybe not the second last one um but yeah like the beef sells really well like especially in zonte it's hard to get beef right so yeah that's that's pretty popular um some of the organic farmers do really well too yeah People like to i know i know paco was really happy with the guy that i think was he came for the first time here to oh sell yeah chicken the chicken and, and the and egg and guy and yeah 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 yeah, shout out to Parker. I think he's gonna come back. I think he bought. I think Parker, I think he bought Parker convinced from him. The guy yeah, yeah. He's just like, all right, I'll take yeah. it all. Let's but you go. know, like, it's to, that's the thing. I, I, Parker told me this week, like, mm -hmm. well, I, I told him if he came every Sunday, I will stop to buy in this in the in the in the market, Perfect. you know, and I want to support him. Yeah. And I think like people like 
genuinely are looking for products more organic, yeah. supporting the locals, you know. Exactly. And, and there is a big, that's why we love it, you know. And I always say, like, since the first time Kiki mentioned it, it's mm. like this idea and say, like, hey, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Let's do it. Decentralized food supply for decentralized money, right? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? I should mention, though, it's not, we are Bitcoin preferred. So when we talk to all the vendors, we say, we require you to take Bitcoin. If someone wants to pay in Bitcoin, like you should be ready to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but we're not so tyrannical that we're like, if, if you want to make, come to an agreement with someone in USD, that's no problem, right? Yeah. Because I, I also don't want to uh, alienate people and maybe they don't want to spend Bitcoin. If you want to come and spend USD, you can do that too. Yeah, no, it's like is, we want to do both. It's a good point to yeah, I want to, to make mention that. it. Yeah, but just those two legal tenders. Yeah, to all the uh, grifters and scammers out there, just the two legal tenders of El Salvador. Yeah, all right. No, they've already had a couple reach out to me, and it's yeah, it's just the rest. Give up. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Okay? No, the rest, they can go away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. indeed. Yeah, it's indeed. better to be clear, you know, because it's happened. People came with different ideas, yeah. with different things. And yeah. it's like... Even though the USD is still a... Uh, I know I can't swear, but you know the word I was going to say. Coin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but you know, like it's, it's, it's where we are now, like even here in El Salvador, there was this Bitcoin is a legal tender, you know, yeah. it's, 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 it's a needed. I don't know for how long, mm -hmm. but still, you know, like people use dollars and that's going to be, you know, that's, that's reality. Yeah. I still use dollars. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't even know. know I don't like it. Yeah. It's reality, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's 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 good. And mm -hmm. so how's going your you were telling us about your company. How's how's going the It's good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it's out. It's hard to find good bacon here. That's kind of why I, how I got the idea. I yeah. know Mike will be one of your clients. <laughs> <laughs> he loves bacon, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's that's Probably, you know, it's a good problem to have, but I basically I'm trying to figure out how to scale it because I already have orders like three weeks ahead and I just can't keep up because it takes quite a long time to make the bacon. And I have a very small facility that I make it in, you know, so mm -hmm. I'm basically going to have to scale it. Still trying to figure that out, but mm -hmm. it's kind of a shame. I can only like deliver orders every two weeks. Okay. So I'm going to get that up to a so week. There is a wait list. There is a wait list. Yes. It's yeah. I even had one guy who's just like, I'll buy the entire pig. And I'm like, well, I can't do that because then I can't. Yeah. You have your service anyone else. Can I? So it's just that's it's good scaling. It's yeah. no, it's a good problem to yeah. have. I'm not complaining. It's just got yeah. to get, get things organized. So how you because this is this is exciting, right? We're seeing a lot of people that are coming here to be entrepreneurial, you know, yeah. because the country is providing that, that excitement, right? Like people come here and they want to be part of something or they mm -hmm. want to create something or they want to build a company, you know? Yeah. And there is a need, right? For many things. So how did you find that environment here in El Salvador to be entrepreneurial people here? I think it's fantastic. I mean, I cannot see myself starting up my own businesses where I'm from at all. Here it's, there's kind of a, there's an excitement in the air. There's more people moving here. There's more people looking for like quality products and quality services. Whereas where I'm from, everything's going in the opposite direction. Everyone's grifting. And, and grinding and not real and standing still, you know, mm -hmm. and there's not much incentive to actually provide value to people. And you, even if you do provide value to people, you, your reward is cut in half by a, by a crooked government. So, yeah, I find this place far more conducive to starting up a business, starting up multiple businesses. So, yeah. so anyone out there thinking about it, I mean, here's a obviously it's not the only spot in the world, but I can say from my personal experience, it's a fantastic spot. Yeah. Yeah. Much of 
my clients in real estate they're entrepreneurial people right and and you know some of them they become like good friends and sure and talking to them you know people that have been built places like canada usa you know entrepreneurial mm -hmm. people like dreaming to build whatever right yeah and they say everything is getting tight like yep. too much regulations too many Absolutely. taxes too many you know people people were like kind of like lost the mm -hmm. hope lost yeah. the lost the oh yeah and when they lose that they start grifting and they start ripping people off and they start cutting corners it's it's just not conducive to a good business yeah. environment it's someone someone was saying like El Salvador is I think it was Max Max I think Max mentioned it for the first time that Sabo is like on a startup now. You uh, know, okay. there are like opportunities everywhere, right? Yeah, makes sense. Oh, my good friend John used to say that El Sabo is like an early stage company, you know, startup. Yeah. But as a country that is it's like, like really like there are opportunities everywhere, you know? Yeah. I and, and it's also like, I would love to mention it that all the government officials or entities that are like that need to help you know to bring more investment or if you go to some government uh, office here asking for information it's like everyone want to help you you know it's mm -hmm. like hey what do you need yeah you know they they want to be part of this and you know that that have been like a good a good point of solve for many people that come here and say, wow, here everyone kind of want to help me, you know, it's like. Even the immigration officers, when you arrive, I've never met such helpful immigration officers. But, you yeah. Know, they want to give you the maximum amount of time. They don't grill you. They don't, you know, no, they're fantastic. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's amazing. And some, some of the, we're talking now entrepreneurial, you know, people building companies, some mm -hmm. of the recently laws that for the tech companies, like. That's going to bring in some. It's already some happening. Big boy, right? Iraq strike moved here, right? Someone yeah. Someone else did. Who some else was? Fold. Fold, that's right. Yeah. 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 Bitfinex. Mm -hmm. So the Bitcoin office, like Stacy is doing a great job there. Yeah, and, and, I, and, I see that. Yeah. yeah. And I think all those things are attracting a lot of people, you know, big companies, but also like entrepreneurial people, people that want to invest. It's, it's really exciting to see all this happening here, man. Hey, good for El Salvador, man. If, if the other, if the West is going to self implode and, and do all this, terrible policy that alienates the smartest most productive people in their societies then they're gonna leave yeah 100 percent. they're gonna go where they're most wanted 100 percent. 100 percent. yeah so in one year you have been here a year now yeah a little over yeah so yourself you have been seeing changes already oh yeah so what are those changes that you can mention it well, I mean, there's, as we were just talking about, there's lots of small businesses starting, which is great to see. Lots of construction, mm -hmm. which is great, but also a little annoying. But what are you going to do? Construction's construction. Um, I hear they're going to widen the big road along here, right? I don't know when that's happening, but. Yeah, that's that's going to be the Sur City project. Uh -huh. There is okay. going to be Ford Line, yeah, one yeah, of yeah. the biggest a project from the government mm -hmm. yeah yeah no just even like people with small little roadside tenders and stuff you can see that they're kind of upgrading them a little bit even since i've been here mm -hmm. they might have added even just like an umbrella or mm -hmm. some some new products you know because i guess they're hopefully they're making a bit of money and they don't have to worry about you know corruption or the production money that they used to have to pay right so it seems like they're slowly building and things are gathering momentum it seems like no it's is 
it's exciting mm -hmm. and he's and he's happening right like yeah. and he's like it's a little contagious yeah but it's it's also funny when the you know media used to say like a lot of things about el salvador and oh and, yeah and and that's why like you are here like you have been here one year and sometime when you know people people sometimes they say like hey i want to hear from someone that mm -hmm. don't have any interest and say that El Salvador is moving the right way right but sure it's like honestly it's, it's happening right yeah and who listens to the media anymore really <laughs> there, there are people that still like you know listening and I and, guess maybe. and but yeah I that's all that's, the real ones moving here I don't think they care what CNN or MSNBC has to say I mean yeah no, they've no. given up given up on them a long I time I think ago. soon soon that's that's gonna be there is not gonna be like you know even with like El Sante like El Sante is one of the most popular places now yeah. you know like you mentioned it there are like constructions like new projects coming yeah. people that i i i always ask in all the bitcoin meetups like who is here for the first time and you meet people from belgium from mm -hmm. you know all countries from europe that i never count all these people will be here, you know? Yeah, it's so, an interesting mix, isn't it? It's crazy. Yeah, I've never met such a diverse It's crazy, mix it's crazy. Or... Like, yeah. Or families, like... Today I was talking with a, with a family from Canada. Mm. They're moving here. And I met them last year, and they're moving here in September. Mm. And they will... They're coming with kids. Like last year, their parents came and we met. They went to check schools where they're going to be, you know, uh, and now they're doing the next step, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's really exciting to see, like, you know, couples like you guys, like single guys coming here, but also families, you know. That would be pretty crazy, coming with kids. I mean, good on them. I encourage them. It's great. But that must be stressful bringing your kids over I, that's impressive but i think like we have some friends in common like from oh yeah no i have like, friends with families that have done it i don't think i think it's a great I, thing I to do i, I just, honestly i just i'm saying i respect it you know because no i have <laughs> have a lot of respect for tom and people should listen yeah. in their their podcast they did a podcast too yeah with, yeah i saw with that Mike. with him he's he's a legend like but i never tons i will see a a family from Canada, living in Canada to come and raise their kids here is, you know, that's like something. That's quite the, big. that's an indictment of Canada and, and a big compliment to El Salvador. Yeah. hundred yeah. percent. hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Some families I met in the last Bitcoin meetup from Australia. Mm -hmm. and oh yeah that 12 year old that loves years, yeah she's already she's practically salvadoreño at this point hey yeah, yeah i asked the question <laughs> like how you feel to be here in el salvador and she say her answer was like so good you yeah, know it's just she's like i'm so happy to be here now because yeah. i can be, i can tell people i was there from the beginning yeah, <laughs> you know like yeah, something yeah. like that that was that was super 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 good you know? yeah yeah, so, cool. um, what else you would love to share with us today? Hmm. I'm not sure, man. Future projects, future ideas, where you see the Bitcoin farmers. I don't know. Are you getting married here in El Salvador? <laughs> Hey, maybe maybe Kiki and I are already married. We just didn't tell the government. You know? <laughs> we don't we don't like them in our business. You know, um, honestly, mate, you kind of caught me caught me there. I'm not sure. Um, I guess I would say I really want to focus on the market and really get that humming and make that really prosperous and try and get you know a couple hundred people out every two weeks and get as many locals involved as possible. Um, so to anybody watching that 
is in the in the local communities please reach out to us if you would like to be involved or if you know someone that would like to be involved um that's the main thing i'm focusing on at the moment that okay i want to really get that get that going properly no and yeah and we will support and every and any capacity we we, we that, can man. because we really want to see also more locals you know yeah the, absolutely that's the, key that's key in the market mm -hmm. but yeah that's that for sure is a good idea you know and, and i think it'll be the most one of the, the most effective ways of like orange pilling people if they, 100%. Just, if they can see how easy it is oh and one other thing i should mention is we we do offer a, a cash out option at the end of the market so okay if you are not feeling comfortable with holding on to that bitcoin we can figure that out at the end Absolutely. and we can exchange okay. it yeah we so also have a bitcoin a bitcoin atm just around people, the corner yeah, people yeah. Wanna go. yeah that's a good opportunity to show people how to use that too because it's mm -hmm. pretty easy doing both being interoperable between both is not too bad here no so, that's 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 yeah. really amazing yeah, and we want to make it as as frictionless as possible and i think that's i think that's the key if we make it consistent and and frictionless it will make it really easy for people to accept bitcoin and earn bitcoin which is mm -hmm. the end game no yeah. that's yeah. that's the best way right like that's it. someone pay you in 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 bitcoin and like you really are receiving some sats that mm -hmm. really like the cost of of that is for you as a vendor is is it's not it's it's less than yeah, that, yeah. That someone that have to go and purchase yeah that bitcoin right yeah and it's beautiful to see you know like some of the biggest hotels here companies mm -hmm. like in the beginning they they also were like like uh we don't know if our clients start to demanding that they want to pay in bitcoin we will do it you know but sure. some of some of them it's crazy you know how they are now like uh into uh multi-sign cold wallets you know and and you know and they, it's a rabbit hole they want more bitcoin and it's like yeah it's beautiful to have have been seeing that change you know yeah and and I think like the most important thing is that locals, you know, can have that same opportunity, right? Hundred percent to, to be part of this. Yeah. No. The last thing I would want would would be for it to be some sort of exclusive, clicky thing. Yeah. You know, no, that's, that's that's we're doing the opposite of that. No. That that's yeah. That's really beautiful, and I think people people would love it you know and and, and, and and like you mentioned it it's a good day to hanging out bring kids having a good coffee oh you have some really talking about it's, bitcoin it's fun you, the, the bitcoiners that come have really fun moments too because you know there was a guy that bought he just bought a juice off a lady and she was like that's the first time i've ever earned bitcoin and they had like a big high five and it's just very wholesome it's a whole yeah it's a wholesome day no, and and also like when people came here, right? They don't maybe they have been follow like Twitter, mm -hmm. what's you know, seen like from social media what's happening here, but once they come here, it's like like I don't know how many people have been coming to me. It's like, wow, talk about Bitcoin, talking like, you know, you know, meet more people like I go, I have a dinner with these people. I'm going surfing with these people. Yeah. I'm going this, you know, it's, it's like a whole environment, right? All these places to meet more people is, is, is a needed because yeah. people came, came really for that, you know? Yeah. 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 So any question, Andy, we're good. You have been in the Bitcoin market yeah he came he came to the first one he's an og bitcoin market og yeah i know as a year yeah as a year everyone i know room i know full OGs. i know lexi <laughs> lexi love it you know yeah she seemed to have fun yeah that's cool so i think we can close here right like we're good 
That was great, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Really enjoyed thank it. You for, thank you for being here. Thank you for coming, Chur. Hey, man. Thanks for all your support, brother. And any anytime you have something to Chur or you want to, you know, we're here to... I appreciate that. To do it. Thanks very much. And yeah, yeah one, just once again, yeah, we'll put the socials down below. Yeah. So anyone interested, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, I will warn you, my Spanish is horrible. I am learning, but we do have a guy. We have a translator as well. So if okay. you don't want to speak English, no problem. I can put you in contact with Charlie. And we're trying to make everything as easy as possible. Maybe so, yeah. the only thing is like, well, where they can they can do it, like where is Los Amigos? Yeah. We're actually going to be moving up to a bigger venue. Okay. in the future because that Los Amigos is great but it's not big enough we, we we keep on getting too many vendors and we can't fit them in and then they're out in the sun you know what I mean so I'm actually going to meet with somebody tomorrow okay. so watch this space and we will okay we will put it out on all the social media where where the next one's going to be but did you have a good right a good agreement with Cuatro Amigos, Cuatro Amigos, Los, Amigos. <laughs> Los Amigos yeah yeah yeah, yeah. No, it went fine. We just that's a, that's a good place because it's, it's a good a spot. Center, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good spot. Um it's unfortunately just a little too small. Yeah. That's that's it. Another thing that we might can help because I think for that, if there are more vendors coming, mm -hmm. we can approach the mayor that allow you guys to I thought you were the mayor. Uh this is what people used to say. <laughs> I know. Not. But allow you guys to use the the street for that. Hmm. Could be interesting. Because last year, for example, every year we have some every year we have some events here that happen in November, you know? Yeah. For example, at the Acting Bitcoin. Like the day three. Yeah, they will be coming yeah. here and every yeah. every year. We asked for the mayor to allow us to use all the street that goes from Hope House to down to the beach. Sure, sure. You know, and like this, you can have like. Yeah, I remember it was cool. Yeah. I was there last year. It was so sweet. that if something you need help with that, we I can we can help you with that. Yeah. I'll yeah. let I'll let you know how my meeting goes tomorrow. Yeah, and then we'll hundred percent. We'll see. So thank you, thank you for joining us and. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Really and a, I really hope so nice you, time to you. I hope Shared. so you invite us to the wedding. <laughs> the secret wedding. Yeah. That the government doesn't know yeah. about. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You're in. As long as you, you're not a government agent, are you? No. You promise? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No problem. You're in. I'm a surfer and I'm a Bitcoiner, you know. All right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs>